Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert, and today I'm going to be running you through a pretty simple but also pretty cool automation I built. Uh, this is designed to scrape hashtags through uh, social media sites like LinkedIn. So what that will allow you to do is to find anybody who happens to be interacting with a particular topic of interest to you. Um, I'll just dive in to show you how it works because I think I'll explain it better, but the end result means that without having to ever log into LinkedIn or to use a special tool uh, to scrape this information, you can actually use make.com to do that all for you, which means that if you have a particular hashtag that you're interested in, uh, you'll be able to get anybody who's talking about it, get all of their details, put them in an outbound campaign and add them to your CRM. So the easiest way to do this is to show you how it's built. First off, you start off with a very simple Google search. In this case, I'm searching for LinkedIn.com. I add slash in slash to the end of this because this separates personal accounts from corporate accounts. And I don't really care about reaching out to companies. I want to reach out to people. Now, if you're in a different country like Brazil, for example, you could just add BR dot to the front of that or UK dot if you're in the UK. But I'll keep it broad. I'll keep it at LinkedIn.com slash in. I'm going to have a really, really, really generic hashtag I'm looking for here, like sales. But let's just say I wanted to look for Web Summit, for example. You'll see 486 results, sales, 81,000. In fact, you know what? Let's change this to Web Summit to keep it short and simple. So I'm looking for anybody who's been hashtagging about Web Summit. I want them to be based in the United States or the United Kingdom. So I add this uh, bracket with a hashtag. But obviously, I could change this to Spain. If I wanted to, for example, I just need to change this to this. And we return slightly different results, still from the UK, but if we search down, we'll see other people from Spain, for example, Portugal as well. Um, so what we do is we take the URL, so I just copy and paste the URL at the very top of this, and I add it into my Airtable campaigns here. So I have a, a scraper test running. So essentially, I name it scraper first so that it gets assigned into the scraper grid view. And then you would just call this whatever you want for a campaign. You could call it, in this case, Web Summit. In fact, let's change this now. So scraper test, Web Summit. You can, you can change this. This is just for my own personal CRM. So scraper test, I'm looking for hashtags for Web Summit. Um, I've marked it as ready for the company search. I'll just replace it with the real one here. The start page. We leave this at 10. So essentially what this is, when you're searching on Google, the URL will at the very, very end, um, not tell you what page it's on, but you can add a, a simple addendum to this, equals start 10, 20, 30, and it'll return 10 results from each page iteratively. So we come here, all right, we have our air table. What this will do is it's basically searching for records that we have here for the web summit and bringing back the company search and the start page. So the HTTP request essentially looks for that URL we have that we've just inputted. Start page 10, so the next time it runs, uh, we have this update record. Uh, each time it runs, it will add on uh, essentially the uh, plus, plus 10 each time. So that 10 becomes 20, then 30, then 40, so we're not scraping the same page over and over. All right, in fact, you know what? I'll, I'll run it right now just to run you through it. So here we have it searched for it, and it's returned that particular result, Scraper Web Summit. It's returned the HTTP of that page. So it's returned all of the first 10 results from that Google search. It's updated the record as we see in Airtable here. So before it was 20, before it was 10, now it's 20. I have a text parser, which basically goes through all of that HTML and it looks for the, 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 the LinkedIn's. So basically it takes this, just the raw, raw HTML data, and it will return me some various LinkedIn accounts here, 10 at a time. Okay, it puts it for an iterator, so instead of one result it becomes 10. I then use get prospect to return these results. So we'll see here, it's looked for this particular account. And has it returned anybody in this case? Yes, it has, we have some information. And that's basically all we need to then run Apollo.io. So anyone who's seen my videos before will know how this works. We have the API request going to Apollo. We're asking for the first name. We're asking for the last name. We're asking for the company they work for. Um, and also, oh, there's a lot more information in this than I was expecting, but it'll return the company and the domain. So I'll just run through that now quickly. So here we have, it's returned Lorcan. It's returned us their first name, their last name, and a bit more information, the title that they're on, whether the email is verified, what their email address is, their headline, the country they're from, organization details. In this case, they actually work for Web Summit. Um, it returns us inf lots of information about them, the industry that they're in, the industry tag, SEO descriptions, all of this. Okay, so with that information, we can add them to reply campaign. So you'll see here, there's a big difference. I have 10 results and only three get added in because I'm only looking for people with verified emails. 
you can add an extra module here if you want uh, and then use an outside service like Bouncer. So you can add in a, a router and then just repeat these last two steps. But again, I'm keeping this simple. So the three email addresses that are verified, they get added to the reply.io campaign with their email, the title, the company name, all of this stuff. Uh, it takes the campaign ID from the Airtable campaign we set up here. So at the very end, I have a reply.io campaign ID. And then it adds them up to Airtable. So as we can see here, if I come to my cold warm hot and I'm looking at the cold leaks, we have some people here, Scraper Web Summit. So we have Lorcan Fox, Martin Gooding, Alexandra Gilroy. Uh, we have all of their details here, so we're ready. We know a bit more about their company. We know why we're getting in contact, what emails are going to be receiving. We have here the emails have been sent and it will then track for replies. Again, if you see my other videos, you'll know that through cold outbound, it's also possible to add in LinkedIn matched audiences. So if I wanted to, I could add another module here again to match the companies or the people to a LinkedIn advertising campaign, just to make them more primed to receive those emails, more likely to respond, more likely to respond positively. Uh, but I'm keeping this short and simple. So if this is something you like, it's available to buy on my Gumroad page. If you need something less complicated or more complicated, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.